Page 52, Unit 3, Teacher's Pages This unit widens social horizons of children and is a good opportunity to introduce the importance of good manners and courtesy where children speak in turn. Do not interrupt or shout. They must also be asked not to be aggressive on the playground. A smile and consideration for others can achieve much more than arrogant or aggressive behavior or the use of force and violence. Let the children talk about something they achieved through gentle means. For example, taking a book back from a younger sister or brother before it is torn without snatching it from their hands. Discuss the meaning of being a bully and whether they ever bully others. Develop listening skills. Read the poem and the play aloud with expression and actions. The class can be asked to guess the meaning of the difficult words. Avoid explanation as much as possible, especially of poems. Let them arrive at their own meanings, which they can change or modify by listening to class discussions and to other children. This will also give you an opportunity to observe if children are listening. If you feel that they are fumbling, you can backtrack and involve them in reading the poem and the prose aloud. All meanings need not to be explained immediately. Group time. Discuss with the class how the sun brings light, warmth and joy to the world. Talk also about a world without sunshine and about what would happen to all the birds, animals, plants, etc. Develop vocabulary. Help the children to enact the play with expression and actions. You could use a yellow mask with extending rays for the sun and a grey mask with chubby cheeks for the wind, made of charred paper. Colored glazed paper could be pasted on it for a colorful effect. Bring a coat and a handkerchief for the man. Make sure that everybody participates by making blowing sounds, like the wind and actions like the sun. Page 53 Help the children with word games like the picture crossword, and word building on the blackboard. Explain doing words. These could be enacted as well. Opposites, rhyming words, etc. With more examples of your own. Encourage the children to give their own examples. Participation of all children is more important than their giving correct answers. For interest will surely increase the will to learn. Use contextual words like hot, cold, strong, weak. Exposure to language. Let children build words with hot, pot, cot. Lead them to weave sentences using these words like Are you feeling hot? Do you sleep on a cot? Develop speaking skills. 1. Sounds of words using W Who Watch Water Wall Warm We Van Violin Very Wet Remember, when we say we, we bite our lips. When we say W, the lips go round and do not meet. Conversation based on role play. Divide your class in four groups and let them enact the parts of the wind, sun, a smile, flowers, etc. Develop writing skills. Check the student's grip on the pencil, the tripod grip and help individual children write words from A to Z. You can write the alphabet and words on cardboard sheets. Use old cartons for sheets and hang them in the class. Let each child write her or his name under the alphabet with which 
her or his name begins. If there are letters with which no name begins involve children in a class activity of coining new names to write under those letters.